What's going on, y'all? Man, it's LA Rich, and we back with another video, man. Now, look, we have a very different video on this channel, man. A very different and interesting video. We have Ozzy Answers Questions the World Has for Australia again. Now, look, this is actually a very, um, really unique video, if I'm being honest, bro. Shout out to whoever requested this, man. This one is... I don't really know what to expect, bro, if I'm being honest. But when it comes to Australia, I say if you was to go in America and ask somebody, um, you know, what's our typical, or what, you, what would you think of when you hear Australia, the first thing that comes to mind, I'm going to say kangaroo, if I'm being honest, bro. That's just me being real. When I think of Australia, literally just kangaroo. Nah, that, that's me being real, bro. And McDonald's, that's, that's my straight up. First thing pops to mind, Australia, boom, they them two right there. But I don't know what a lot of things are about Australia, but this is why we have this video right here to go ahead, teach me and teach a lot of people out there that don't know about it. But hey, before we I even get into the video, what I want to say is thank y'all so much for all the love and support I've been receiving. We have officially hit 8.3 thousand subscribers on the road to 8.4 now. I thank y'all so much for all the love and support y'all been showing me. It truly means the most to me. Nonetheless, we're going to get into this video. Y'all make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know some videos to react to, man, whether it's some different Australia videos, factual uh, facts about Australia videos, or anything out there, and I got y'all with it. But, hey, enough of the talking. Let's do it. Convenience stores. Where the fuck else do you want us to put them? Could it be for convenience? That they're in convenience stores? What the fuck? <laughs> So since I did my last one of these, you guys have been requesting with increasing aggression that I do another one of these. And honestly, BuzzFeed has so many of these articles, it may never end. Also, these videos just get mad views for no reason. So I'll take it. Oh God. <laughs> so I just looked down and my camera was open on my phone and God help me. If I had to see that shit, so do you. <laughs> Some of these questions might overlap. I don't really know how many questions you can ask Australians before it gets repetitive. 33 questions all Australians need to answer right now. Okay, boss. What even is Vegemite? Does it taste good? Why do Australians eat it? Oh, Vegemite. I was kind of glad that I skipped out on the Vegemite talk last time, but let's just start off strong, as in a strong concentration of yeast, as in that is what Vegemite is, to answer your question. Does it even taste good? Why do Australians eat it? Well, if it didn't taste good to us, we wouldn't eat it, would we, babe? I'm whipping out the babe already. Wait, All right. hold on. Vegemite, Vegemite is, is yeast? I ain't never heard of Vegemite till now. Like a very annoying person, like small quantities, always small quantities, and sometimes with butter just like an annoying person. God, it would be amazing if the Wi-Fi would load this page at all. Okay, half of these aren't loading. Fuck this whole article. Luckily, BuzzFeed has written about 15 million of these. Why do your coin sizes make no sense? Look, I have to give that to them. I don't know why coins of higher value are smaller. Why are you equating bigger with more valuable is my next question. Let's ask our Lord and Savior the internet. You know, and you know what? Wait, I'm hold on. That would confuse the hell out of me, bro. So you telling me, if you was to get, if you was to want a quarter and say you going and looking and shit, you have to find the smallest one, that is backwards as hell. I don't care. I'm not reading a 4,000 word historical summary on coins today. It is too hot for that shit right now. What's the deal with ATMs and convenience stores? Where the fuck else do you want us to put them? Could it be for convenience? That they're in convenience stores? What the fuck? Who's asking this? Where are your ATMs? Wait, hold on. What do you mean? Uh, why are ATMs in convenience? That's like, it's like that in the US too. So where is he from? It, where is just no ATMs at all in the convenience store? Because it's definitely ATM machines, if that's what we're talking about, hell yeah, they're in convenience stores. And banks and just outside i don't know where you where do you want us to put them what's up with your weird food combinations and then there's a picture of fairy bread you best not be coming for fairy bread are you sure the best way to eat sprinkles is just by putting them on a piece of bread and hoping they won't fall off butter who wrote this article i just want to talk hey come here just come here there is this one substance um it's been around for a little while some groundbreaking shit it's going to be the answer to pretty much most of these questions have you got butter why are you asking so many questions and the answer is just butter do you think we're all just sitting here like throwing sprinkles at bread hoping it sticks i feel like i'm a lot more personally wait hold on bro so you put um sprinkles on a piece of bread Honestly, I don't even know if that is, I don't like sprinkles myself, but to for some people, I mean, 
cupcakes and everything is kind of just like breading, if right? If I'm, I mean, somewhat. So if you put it on bread or something, but then you got wheat bread and shit, because it's, it's going to taste like wheat with shrimp. I mean, it's going to be sweet bread, you know? Like putting syrup on bread or something. Look, where I'm from, well, I ain't even going to say it. I say syrup like syrup. Or syrup like syrup. I know it, it, y'all probably was like, what the hell do we mean syrup? Yeah, I mean syrup like I say it. I say syrup. Be. This is why you have Donald Trump as a president. I actually don't even know if an American asked this, but we're going to blame you anyway. I'm sorry. Why do you eat the animals on your coat of arms? I didn't realize there was a law saying you couldn't. What's up with those weird birds running around the city? Look, we don't know. They what showed the? up. They... Hold on. What was that? Law saying you couldn't. What's up with those weird birds running around? What the hell is this, bro? Ain't no way y'all just got that running around. Oh, I thought I didn't even see the head. I thought the head was right here. Okay, so the bird is... Ugh, bro, this is an ugly-ass bird. City, look, we don't know. They showed up. They're here. They're part of our civilization. They don't like us. We don't like them. It's a mutual agreement. Leave it at that. Why do you call docks wharfs? Weirdly enough, things can have two names. Why do you add an O at the end of every word? The Italians did it first. Get your own stereotype. Excuse me, miss. <laughs> don't know if you've noticed this, but Australia is a predominantly white country now, and we don't have any of our own culture. We stole everything. Why do you guys abbreviate everything? That's probably the only thing we have done is butchered the English language. And I support it 100%. The English language makes no sense. Most languages have rules that are just rules that make sense, and everything follows a pattern with a few little exceptions. The English language is the most cooked language to learn because none of it makes sense really you would look at these two words and assume that they are pronounced the same wrong but what about these two words wrong again okay what about these three very similar words meet greet threat meet greet threat at Damn, they all is pronounced different. That's crazy. None of them are pronounced the same. E-I-G-H can mean A as a sound, as in neighbor. E-A-U can somehow mean O, like plateau, for example. There are perfectly correct sentences that 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 can exist in. For example, I cannot believe that 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 is something that we can say in the English language. Four that's in a row and that's still technically correct. But then we've got our classic rules like I before E except after C and except for if you just don't feel like it sometimes. For example, I before E except after C, and also when you heinously seize your weird foreign neighbor's feisty beige heifer. Did those words just not get the memo? There's no egg in eggplant, there's no ham in hamburger, there's no pine in pineapple. Boxing rings are square, quicksand is very slow, English muffins were not made in England. You can have writers that write, but you can't have fingers that fing. <laughs> well, that we know of. If teachers taught, then why can't preachers prort? Sounds absolutely ridiculous, just like a lot of things in this godforsaken language. Having a slim chance and a fat chance are kind of the same thing, but being a wise man versus a wise guy is totally different. You can have a box or boxes, but you can have an ox, but not oxes, because it's oxen. Damn, bro. I li English is a really difficult language, bro. Now that I'm really sitting here hearing her talk about it, it's difficult. Now I be understanding why people be having a hard time if they come from somewhere else or don't know English, having a hard time learning it, bro, because it's some difficult shit out there. Like, you're not allowed to say, or like, toothbrush, toothpaste. You can't say two brushes. Wait, can you? I, I, let me just quit talking about it, because... Goose. You can also have geese. But if you have a moose, you cannot have meese. You can have one mouse and, like, many mice. Right, you might. You can have a mouse, mices, map. Bro, English is difficult as hell, bro. And that's crazy to think. It like It's just... It comes from a point where it, it just won't make sense to a lot of people. You feel me? Like, geese and a geese... Or you would say a goose, a geese. You can't say geese it. Like, I don't know, bro. English is really difficult to learn, man. I'm really starting to understand why it be taking people so long to fully understand English overall. Geese. But if you have a moose, you cannot have meese. You can have one mouse and, like, many mice, but you can't have one house and then the plural be heist. This is a pretty good one. Yes, English can be weird. It can be understood through tough, thorough thought, though. That was hard. There are literally a million different things that are wrong with the English language. So much so that I have forgotten what the initial problem was. Um, 
Did we come here to bitch about English? No, but did we all learn something? Probably. Wow, that, that is timing. Speaking of the English language, I don't know what it is about these videos in particular that attract a lot of people that really just can't spell. Someone's just left a comment trying to say true blue Aussie, but they've said true blown Aussie. <laughs> but I don't know what it is when you make a video about Australia, even vaguely, that brings out all of this patriotism in everyone and that's projected onto me when in reality I don't give a single shit about any of the things on these lists in my day-to-day -day life. <laughs> Nothing wrong with a bit of Hey, at least you being honest, bro. I mean, that's just me and real, bro. I mean, like, at the end of the day, this shit ain't affecting none of us. You know, I mean, it's just the way the life is. Go about your day. Single shit about any of the things on these lists in my day-to-day -day life. Nothing wrong with a bit of healthy patriotism and it's awesome to see a lot of Australians watching my videos because we live pretty much the same life, give or take. And fair enough, all of those comments are gonna end up on like this video, but I don't know what to do when they bleed out into Instagram and all of this other shit. If you don't follow me on Instagram, do that, at Brienne Worth. I just don't know how to respond to them because I don't talk about this stuff any other time in my life other than in videos like these. Where did this video end up? Where did this video go? I've also knocked this off, I'm so sorry. Oh shit. What is it with you saying no worries instead of you're welcome? Because it wasn't a worry to help you out. I'm sorry for being polite the wrong way. <laughs> Why do your houses look so small from the outside, but on the inside they're way bigger than they look? You know what they say? Because I don't. I didn't realize that was a thing. Wait, How hold on, bro. That That's not even an Australia thing, bro. That's a... In the U.S., bro, I, it's so many houses in the U.S., bro, that I like that, man. I'm talking about shit. I can, every, every single block got houses like that, bro. Real talk. You know what they say? Because I don't. I didn't realize that was a thing. How come you can turn power plugs on and off? Hold on. If you were from a country where you can't turn your power plug off or on, first of all, are you guys okay? Second of all, let me know. That's so weird. I did not realize that. Wait, you could turn your power plugs on and off? What the? Okay, I could. I've had some places before where I, I, I was able to do that, but. Nah, that's not no regular thing, you know, where every, you know, just a everyday thing or every place you go to or move to got switches like that. Because with a lot of places, bro, I mean, the switch is only for the lights. Or if you got your maybe sink, sink uh, dispenser and all that, them switches only go for the lights, man. It would be a smart idea, if I'm being honest with you. It would be a smart idea for uh, to put them switches for the um outlets but i don't know why they haven't done that in the u.s bro i mean shit they lazy out here man on first of all are you guys okay second of all let me know that's so weird i did not realize that was a thing side note let me know if you get annoyed when you can see a powerpoint that's been left on but there's nothing plugged into it because it drives me nuts why are you so comfortable walking around why are you so comfortable walking around barefoot it's better for your body, and even if it wasn't, like, it takes a lot of effort to put shoes on. Am I going to sit down on a hot day, which it pretty much always is, especially today? It's night time and I'm sweating. So am I going to sit down, put a sock on one foot, put a sock on the other foot, put a shoe on one foot, put a shoe on the other foot, tie that bitch up? No. I'm going to go to Coles without shoes on because it's fine. Whoa, hold on. So she just be walking around straight barefoot everywhere? I don't know about this one. That's I'm gonna have to say right there. That's my first one disagreeing with. Um, I don't. I can't sit there and walk barefoot, man. I don't give a damn how nice it is, how clean the grounds is, how hot. It could be 120 degrees outside. You will not see me walking around barefoot outside, bro. In the house, cool maybe sometimes. You feel me? But outside, going and then going places too. No, no, sir. Tie that bitch up. No. I'm gonna go to Coles without shoes on because it's fine. You're fine. Statistically pretty unlikely. Unlikely anything bad is gonna happen to you if you don't wear shoes sometimes. <laughs> or all the time if you're me. I just don't like them. And what's your obsession with working out outside? Okay. Not that I do this personally, but now this person is coming at us for exercising in the sun. <laughs> no, nah, he's crazy for that. We can't have houses that are big from the inside. We can't work out and be healthy. We can't use butter, apparently. Why do all Australians go to Bali? <laughs> Let me answer this question with some common sense. If you had a tropical paradise where the currency conversion rate is ridiculously good, where you can pretty much have anything you want, whenever you want, however you want it, for five bucks at the drop of a hat, 
why wouldn't you go there? Why wouldn't you swarm there? Because we do. Do I feel bad that Bali is inundated with Bogan Australians? A hundred percent. Will that stop me from going to Bali? Absolutely not. <laughs> why do Australians love pink so much? Assuming you're talking about the singer and not the colour. She, I feel, is very popular with like 40 plus year old mums. But I used to love her music and even though I don't really vibe with it as much anymore, I just love who she I've is. I've never heard person. of pink before. She's just a bad bitch and we just love her. Why do Australians keep punching sharks? I'm pretty sure Mick Fanning is the only one that punches sharks. Can I ask real quick, what else do you do when there's a shark around? What else do we have? Why do Australians eat emus and kangaroos? Why do you eat cows and pigs? Wait, and they... Else? Oh, I, okay, I didn't know that either. So they eat emus and... I mean, emus and... Can, I didn't know they eat emus. But I, I, I would figure that they eat kangaroos because they kind of... I like consider rodents to them. Because do they... I mean, maybe they wrote this. I think they probably like how deers is to people in the U.S. That's what they deers is, basically. But what, with emus? I don't know about that one, bro. Have y'all ever tried an emu? If it's anybody from Australia, let me know how an emu tastes. Because I don't know how to think it'll taste, man. I mean, it ain't. it's a bird. So, yeah, y'all let me know how that tastes, man. I'm actually kind of... Kind of intrigued on that. I might want to try that one day. Why do Australians eat emus and kangaroos? Why do you eat cows and pigs and anything else that you eat? Side note though, kangaroo meat is a lot better for you and just tastes really good. Why do Australians say it as paper, scissors, rock? We don't. Some of us might, but those people need to be thrown out of the country swiftly. This is going to start another argument in the comment section, just like beetroot on burgers, but it's scissors, paper, rock, yes or no? Yes being the only answer. Thank no, you for coming. No, 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 no. Scissors, paper, rock. And it's rock, paper, scissors, and you always got to make sure you add that shoe in, bro. The shoe mean the most out of the whole thing. I don't care how, how what order you put it in, you feel me? Everybody got their order. But the thing that is literally mandatory that has to be put in regardless, you need to add that shoe at the end. Rock, paper, scissors, shoe. All times, bro. Head talk. Why do Australians say banana? Fuck. Why do we say banana? I don't know. So, uh, so I hope that answers that question. Why do Australians even go to zoos? Great question. Why do Australians say it's the afternoon when it's 6 p.m.? It's usually because it's still daylight at 6 p.m. Why do Australians like saying cunt so much? I just can't think of another word that's better than cunt. It's just got that bite. Also, we can <laughs> say it and it sounds pretty that. casual. Is a hangover an excuse to act like a dick? First of all, yes, but this is also a sign that probably best summarizes the hospitality service in this country. Can I blame them? Absolutely not. Do you wish you had a real Christmas? Well, that cuts deep <laughs> because that is Christmas. But also, you do not realize the value of those fans. Wait, that hold on, something. bro. That, that was a funny one right there. I didn't get that till after. Blame them? Absolutely not. Do you wish you had a real Christmas? They Christmas is a fan with you because they be hot as hell out there. How hot do it be during Christmas, bro? All y'all Australian people, let me know that too because... I, I, if it be like 90 degrees during Christmas, bro, I ain't gonna lie. That is crazy, man. You feel me? 90 degrees, man, or just hot in general on Christmas, bro. It wouldn't feel like Christmas to me if I'm being honest, bro. Well, that cuts deep <laughs> because that is Christmas. But also, you do not realize the value of those fans. Let midsummer roll around, which is pretty much kind of now, and then try and buy one of these fans on a hot day. I'm pretty sure it was last summer or the summer before. We had a statewide shortage of these fans. You had to drive to New South Wales. These fans are like gold in summer. You have no idea. So that is an amazing Christmas because at least you won't be sweating your ass off. When are you going to stand up and address this terrifying statistic? <laughs> What's so wrong with Tony Abbott? What the hell? Do you understand now? Do you get it? And I think I'm going to leave it on that particularly high note. If you're new here, I give shoutouts every single video to random people who subscribe and put the notification bell on and then leave a comment letting me know that they've done it. I said it properly that time too. I also give shoutouts to people who follow me on Instagram at Brienne Worth and leave comments on my photos. Before we get to the shoutouts though, I also have a clothing brand, Rift Supply Co. We have a bunch of awesome stuff. We've got a bunch of cool tees, beanies, etc. We just got these LGBTs in. I think Hold that on, is let the me scientific name. Sprinkles on your bread. That's a problem. The website and socials for Rift are all linked below, so go check it out. Shoutouts from Instagram are coming from this photo, and they go. Yeah, check I think that's the end of it, y'all. Hey, shout out to this girl right here, man. Let me make sure to say her name too. I think it's Brianni Worth or Brianni. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's Brianni Worth. Hey, shout out to her, man. I like this vid a lot, bro. You feel me? Knowing about how what 
how what Australians really live like, you know, what goes on over there and everything. And I'm glad I watched this vid, man, for sure. But hey, y'all make sure to let me know some more vids like this or it's something about Australia or facts to learn, anything like that. And I'm 100% do it. And once again, thank y'all for helping me hit 8.3 thousand. We're going to to 8.4 now. I appreciate every last one of y'all for the love and support y'all show me every single day. It truly means the most to me. Nonetheless, that's when I close out the video. Y'all make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know some videos to react to, man. And it's LA Rich, and I'm getting up out of here. All right, y'all.